Hello, it's Riyad and uh, welcome back to the uh, kidney, basically renal physiology or SMLA step one. And this is basically the video number two. You remember, guys, we talked about in the first video, we talked about hem uh, renal hemodynamic. Now there is a, another kind of hemodynamic, which is basically efferent and efferent arterioles, whether they are whether they are vasoconstriction or vasodilation. This very high yield kind of questions or very high yield kind of topic. Now you have to know in the center you have filtration force or GFR. This just makes sense. And here you have efferent, and after that you have efferent arteries. Um, so let's say you have let's say you have constriction of the efferent, which is you know which is not you know it's, it's not difficult. So if you constrict the efferent, what do you think GFR down the system will just decrease? So basically GFR decrease, and you already constrict something. That's why renal plasma flow will be increase decrease, right? which is basically here. So the flow down the system will be decreased, that's why renal plasma flow will be also decreased. So guys, again, it's really easy. The efferent one, if you just constrict something, you just imagine you'll compress it. So when you compress, when you compress this arterioles, basically GFR will be decreased. That's mean renal plasma flow or the flow will be decreased. Now the opposite, you know, just dilate just dilate efferent arteries. So if you dilate the efferent arteries, what can happen to the GFR down, down the system? So the GFR will be just an increase. And again, the same thing, the flow will be, yeah, sorry, the flow down the system will be an increase, right? So these are the, these are the general things. And I think are easy parameters. So if you just dilate or uh, or constrict the efferent, the GFR will be either an increase or decrease, depends on if you have dilation or constriction. Now, maybe this is a kind of a little bit more complicated, but I think also it's easy. Now, you have a compartment. Uh, okay, let's go, back, let's go here first. You have a compartment and you try to compress and try to increase the resistance here, basically. And here you have compartment A and you have compartment B. And I'm really surprised because always the students, maybe even myself before, I used to confuse with that. But it's, not, it's very, very, very easy. Again, just imagine you compress something or, you know, you obstruct it, which is basically by, by increase the resistance. So if you increase the resistance at this side, especially at this point, especially, that means the pressure before will be increased while the pressure after will be decreased or maybe stay normal. This guy's... A kind of really general principle in renal physics or in physics, vascular physics, basically. If you compress, everything before will be increased. The pressure will be increased. That means GFR will be increased, right? How about the flow? What do you think the flow down the system will be? You already close it, right? You already there is a kind of obstruction. Therefore, the flow decreases. Therefore, renal plasma flow will be decreased. I mean, you don't need to memorize these stuff. It just makes sense, right? Okay, what else? So finally, if you have efferent, di sorry, efferent dilation. So basically, this was efferent dilation. And finally, you have efferent concentration. If you have efferent dilation, so it's, let's make the arrows here, just dilation. So you dilate everything. So basically, the renal plasma flow, which is down the system, will be high. Right, you have more flow, and you will not build any resistance. I mean, it's very smoothly for the blood to move around. That's why GFR and the pressure down the system will be decreased. Right, very easily. I mean, look at this. Is there any resistance? There is no resistance. Very, very easy for the blood to move around. That's why GFR will be decreased. So far, you have really. I mean, it's it's again, guys. It's not so hard. It's not hard really. It's very, very, very easy, and uh, all of these just makes sense. Okay, I will. Uh, you will see the next video. Different approach. Go back to this approach again and try to, you know, try to handle it, memorize it, understand it. You'll see next approach is really different. Okay, thank you.